So something I've always wanted to talk about is um, where my love for bodybuilding has, I guess, derived and actually it's relation to something that I haven't really talked about um, in depth and that's my health and more specifically my colitis. And I do want to preface this with the fact that I, I would really love if this helped anyone in any way that you put it in their hands, you know? So if this video relates to someone who, you know, went through something like this, similar to it, share it. Link us up, tag them, whatever you need to do. So yeah, let's start off the fact that I've always had a, you know, I guess, I've been entertained by bodybuilding, you know, but it was never something that I actually wanted to do. I just enjoyed the sport. But we can go back to 2014 where I was uh, not feeling too well. I was kind of feeling like crap. I was looking like crap. And then uh, more specifically, when we want to talk about crap, it's going to get, you know, a little graphic. But I was not going to the bathroom, right? I wasn't going to the bathroom well. It was, it was not normal. More specifically, I had blood in my stool. So my wife urged me to go to the ER which I was very hesitant to do, but I'm glad that she made me go. After I was referred to a GI doctor and I got a scope, they diagnosed me with ulcerative colitis, which I had no clue what that was. But long story short, it's inflammation in the colon, in whatever part of your colon it is. It's, it's inflamed and you're super irritable and things you eat really aggravate you. The most simplest foods aggravate you. So I went through many years, I would say a good year and a half of trying to find the right medication for me to keep me from being flared up. Uh, while all that was going on, um, I was getting, getting these infections. It was um, C. diff infections. So I guess concurrently, is that the word? At the same time, I was taking meds for my colitis. They were giving me meds to clear up this C. diff and all these kind of meds, they counteract each other. And I was just kind of downward spiraling. I was destroying my good gut health. And that just had me sick every other week. I was losing weight. 2014 was the year I got married to my wife, which was breaking my heart because I proposed to her the year before. I told her I was gonna be with her for the rest of my life. And then the next year I went to shit. I lost all this weight. I was sick all the time. I was out of work. So I felt super guilty. But she she was my rock through it all and helped me. was by my side at all the appointments. But uh, going forward, 2015, we kind of found the right med that kept me, let's say, not inflamed. But I still wasn't perfect, you know. So life went on. Um... Yeah, I want to say the end of 2015, however, I got really, really sick again. I was really flared up. And this was at the same time where I was just really getting in the zone with my bodybuilding, my training. Just having fun, you know. But then my stubborn side of myself that put the chip on my shoulder of like, I, I, I'm not going to let this really take me down. I had a friend do a bodybuilding competition and it really sparked that interest in me. At the same time I was sick, I was still gonna do this show. So I was prepping for a 2016, an April show, and uh, I was sick as a dog. I was flared up, trying to diet and cut weight while I was flared up. Uh, I, I still did the show, and um, at the same time, being super flared up, my doctor was kind of reaching this point where she wanted to drastically change my meds to go from some pills that I was taking. I was taking azathioprine and Lialda, if you know what those are. She was suggesting a, a, an infusion-based drug like Remicade or something. And, uh, you know, not only did that freak me out, she said the next steps might possibly be, you know, a procedure that requires me to have my colon removed and I wear a colostomy bag and then I get this other procedure where... A J pouch is something that's made in your, like, uh, just something that truly had me depressed. So um, the last 
step before that was going to take place was her suggestion was to try to isolate the problem. I mean, whether it's my colitis or if we can't just get the C. diff, which was still going on intermittently on and off. If we couldn't get the C. diff under control, then we would have to pull the trigger on the colostomy situation. So I actually, I actually opted for this treatment called the FMT treatment uh, procedure rather. And um, I'll, I'll put some links in my description. Fecal my, microbiota. I'll put, I'll put a video, but that procedure saved my life. It honestly did. Since then, we're talking two years now. It's April 28th right now. Two years have passed. I have not had a flare. My digestion is great. I put weight back up to almost 200 pounds. Um, but so to wrap this back up to where I was at, my passion for bodybuilding 100% is tied to my diagnosis with ulcerative colitis. I came super close to having a procedure done that I think, you know, would have changed me. You know, I would have still been strong through it, but it was a very scary um, experience to potentially go through. And at that same time, I latched on to bodybuilding and I have not let go ever since. And now that I am healthy and I have right the, all the right supports in my in my life, you know, I, I do my best to keep my diet in order. As much as I upload a lot of silly stuff on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, you know, I try to be a lot more kind to my body when it comes to things like deep fried foods and dairy. And uh, the biggest thing I think that truly brought this on for me is stress. So, um, mental stress. I, I, I do my best to stay in my, my Zen state things that aggravate me I don't I don't associate with people that aggravate me I just don't associate with and um, there's a lot of good help out there online for stress relief mine just happens to be fitness so when you put those two together it was just a match made in heaven and I've been able to compete ever since and the rest of my life is a history that's unwritten that I literally just can't wait to see where it goes. So yeah, that's something truly personal to me that I, I haven't really shared a lot of that information. And again, like I said, if you know that kind of information might help someone, link them to this video, share this video. That, that FMT procedure, absolutely, it changed my life. And I'm forever grateful for it. Y'all have a good day. Stay blessed.